Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. Hope you're having a fantastic day out there today. We're doing a bunch of mini lessons here at the shop to sort of give back to our customers and fans and our subscribers on YouTube. Um, this is actually a dual purpose one and it involves a customer asking us to talk about how to decide about a, buying a trumpet. And since we are primarily a music store that sells trumpets primarily, I thought this would be a, actually a fun video for us to do. First and foremost, you want to make sure before you even get to the shop that you've done a little bit of research on your own. Figure out what brands that you might want, certain um, brands or, or makers that you might be interested in, in carrying. For instance, our shop, our premium lines that we st stock are Chagrill and Adams. Uh, no particular order. Um, I'm an Adams performing artist, so of course I am very loyal to the Adams instruments. And I'll be using Adams on this dis this demonstration for you to check out. But, uh, so you want to figure out what stores around might have what you're looking for. Um, and the big thing when I get a horn in my hand is two hugely important things. So I'm going to grab a couple horns and just demonstrate. One, I want to make sure I'm playing the right instrument for the job. So if I was primarily a lead trumpet player and I was playing in a big band, I probably wouldn't choose a horn like this, which is the Austin Custom Brass Copernicus, which is a dual, double shepherd's crooked instrument. It's a great instrument, and actually I've, I've gone on tour and done a bunch of Maynard solos with this horn, but being a lead trumpet player, I might pick something that's a little bit more appropriate. And for this demonstration, I'm just using a ACB3C, so it's straight down the middle on that. First and foremost, you want to feel how a horn is in your hand. You're going to be hopefully playing it for many, many thousands of hours, so you want to make something that's comfortable, not too heavy, not too light. That's completely subjective up to you. Next, make sure that the engine, the machine, the valves are great. That's why we love the Adams instruments because they own Bauerfine valves. Fantastic. Then, once you're, once you're there and you've, you've found something that's comfortable in your hand, play a few excerpts back and forth. Figure out what you might want to work. For instance, if I'm playing I might go to the next horn. I like doing very short clips. This is an Adams A5 trumpet, very lightweight trumpet. Right now, I'm not going to be using the valve slides. And for me, I want to feel how the horn plays without adjusting on it. Here's an A4LT. Uh, again, I'll play the exact same thing. For me, that was a little harder for me to play. It didn't respond as quickly. If I go to something like an A10, let me pull out the tuning side on this one because this is brand new. Here we go. For me, out of all the horns, for that particular excerpt, this was the most comfortable for me. I'm not doing that, I'm just going back and forth. Say I wanted to, but I'm, I need a horn that will do what I need to do as much as possible. And for most people, it's a good all-around horn that has a good balance, a good sound, very good intonation, and a good response. Like for me, the A4LT didn't respond as quickly as I wanted. Other players, they pick that up and it responds quicker than all the other horns. Just to go on a different spectrum, like say if I took this um, fully engraved A9 trumpet, which is a horn out of my own collection, it will sound a little funky on this Charlie A excerpt. doesn't sound that bad but I probably wouldn't use this horn other than being a jazz soloist but that's the good thing about you know looking and trying to find instruments is that you can really find an instrument that responds quickly for me for you, you can hear that since I know this instrument I play it very efficiently so you also want something that is flexible flexible in the sound color flexible in the in the in the notes maybe there or you might want something that's highly defined 
for instance, um, the difference between the A3 trumpet and the A5 trumpet in the Adams line is the A3 trumpet is very targeted and the A5 is a little looser in the slots. You might want either side of those. So it's not one or the other, especially not in this case. It's finding the, the right match for you. So again, to recap, I know this is a little longer than our normal three minute videos. You want something that feels great in the hand. You want to make sure that the valves, which are the engine of the vehicle, you know, the engine of the instrument, I should say, are wonderful. Um, you want to make sure something responds quickly when you when you play it. You want to play small, small sections and repeated sections of, of an excerpt with a multitude of horns to start weeding out the process. As you do that, you'll end up with two or three. Another great thing to do is go to a shop where the people that are there have great ears. One thing we pride ourselves in at the shop is that we all of us are professional trumpet players, <coughs> pardon me, and we can all really help you dial in that sound or color that you're looking for. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll probably elaborate more on this in a live session. It's a very hard thing to do in a five minute time span, so take a few seconds, hit that subscribe button right there. Uh, if you have any suggestions for videos upcoming in the next few weeks or months, let us know. We'll be posting these every few days as a way of thanking all of our customers and hopefully inspiring some more like yourselves to practice like I am inspired to practice now. So speaking of, I'm going to go practice. Y'all have a good day.